Hello guys, it is DLC Chef here and welcome back to another episode of Recreating Famous Future Buildings. Today is the second episode of how to build the Diamond Minecart's treasure room. And in this episode, whoa, <laughs> we are going to make this room over here and that room over there. And also we are going to start off actually with the, uh, yeah, with the inside, so the entry. So yeah, let's get started with that. As you can see, above this entry over here, which is 3x3 three three blocks, I, uh, yeah, I already decked out my way all the way to the uh, overworld. And you can see that this is a 3x3 three three, uh, yeah, opening. So make sure you uh, make that first, and then as soon as you've finished it, you can uh, yeah, continue building. So yeah, pause the video if you didn't already, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so the first thing we're going to make is uh, yeah, place some uh, quartz blocks in each corner. Oh, by the way, I didn't already mention which blocks we're going to need. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> yeah, we need some block of quartz, quartz stairs, uh, light blue stained clay, redstone torch, redstone lamp, sign, stone pressure plate, pillar quartz block and quartz slabs those are the blocks we need first so what you want to do is you want to fill up the whole yeah each corner basically all the way to the top like that and then what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're facing uh, yeah yeah to the to the whole treasure room so not facing this way or this way or this way but you want to face right to that treasure room itself and then, yeah, th th this, yeah, this line over here is basically the line where we want to have the quartz stairs uh, like this. Oh, oops. You gotta make sure that they're not going to be placed upside down because that's the most important thing. Because, yeah, that's basically because the sides are going to be upside down. So, yeah, the one which is right in front of that, this one over here, also needs to be like this. I think it's easier if I build it like this. There we go. Okay, then the, the side ones are actually going to be upside down. So like this. Oh, oops. There we go. As you can see, this makes a very awesome pattern. And uh, yeah, also of course, this one needs to be done. So let me just place this as well. And there we go. All right, so. This is the entry, pretty epic already. Now it's time for the first room. Let's start off with this room, the teleporter, because that's the easier one. First of all, get yourself some signs. Uh, the one on the left is going to say teleporter, and the one on the right is going to say oh, entry. There, oh, that's right, right. entry. There we go. All right, so uh, after you open these doors, the very first thing we actually need to do is just replace the sign for a verge door. Then get rid of this and then just replace it quickly with some uh, with some light blue stained clay and then place the door back like this. So yeah, now we have this over here. It looks pretty fancy and stuff, but yeah, this is very ugly. So let's make this actual room. First thing we do, as you can already see over here, we have a 2x2 two two, uh, yeah, blue stained clay platform. We want to make that one again. So over here, like this. So in total it's 4 by 2 blocks. Uh, then we want to go around it, so like this. Like that, and this little thing needs to be extended a few times. So 1, 2, and then you're done. The next thing you want to do uh, is replace this. Uh, you you got to make sure that you don't, of course, uh, burn yourself in the lava. So just quickly uh, replace that as quick as you can, like that, and there we go, that's uh, yeah, how it's done. And then just make a roof on top of this, so like that. As you can see it's really dark, so you can place some redstone torch over here, also you can place some real ones if you want. I just think uh, yeah, it's not that dark and the redstone torches are pretty uh, useful anyway. No, no, you know what, I'm actually going to do the normal torch, because that is exactly how the diamond marker has it. There we go, that's way better already. Then what you want to do is you want to replace this little thing over here with some redstone lamps, but let me just first place the torches, because then I don't need to go outside anymore. There we go. Place the torches over there, and then the lamps. No, that's by the way not what you need to do. Now that I think about it. You don't even need any redstone torches because you want to have the pressure plates on top of it, and those basically light it up. So uh, yeah, there we go. This is the first room done, the teleporter room. Now it's time for the room with the super suit inside of it. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a hard room, but yeah, let's just uh, start off with it. <laughs> okay, so the very first thing we're going to do is replace the light blue stained clay with some 
purple stained clay. <coughs> and I think this is good for now to start off. So the very first thing we're going to do is place some purple stained clay over here. And then place two birch doors like that. So uh, yeah, so that when you break this block, it doesn't disappear. Because otherwise you have a door like that. That's not what you want to have. So there we go. So yeah, after you've done that, place two redstone lamps in front of that. And then in front of that, another two purple stained clay blocks. Then just like we did in the uh, teleporter room, place these pressure plates over here. Which as you can see, activate the door as well as the lamp. Which makes it uh, really easy to walk out. As you can see, very easy. Okay, yeah, and then after you've done that, what you want to do is get yourself some block of quartz. And place it right over here. Four blocks, you can see, another four blocks. Like that. Then another four blocks made out of redstone. And um, by the way, we gotta go underground because there, of course, are going to be some resin torches beneath it, like that. By the way, did I start it right? Oh, nice. The resin torch actually has a bigger radius than one. Nice. Okay, so yeah, after you've done that, what you want to do is get yourself some pillar quartz blocks and place them right over here. One, two, three, four. High, like that. One, two, three, four. Then get yourself some block of quartz and place it right over here. Just fill this whole thing up. Then it's also uh, yeah four blocks high. One, two, three, four. There we go. Fancy. Then this. Whoa, oops. There we go. Then these two blocks are also going to be replaced with some quartz. Make sure to do it quickly because there's lava over there as you can see. Uh, yeah, like that. As well as that one. So this is what you have right now. If you didn't already. Okay, yeah, and after you've done that, congratulations. So the next thing we do is we place two stairs over there. No, no, actually over here, I'm sorry. Like that. There's a normal block of quartz over there. Like so. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, that's right. Then the next thing we're going to do... Uh, yeah, get yourself some quartz slabs. Place them right over here. And then another one on top of it. You can get rid of these ones. Oh, whoops, none of the red lamp, of course. So that, as you can see, it's just a little bit uh, higher than the other ones. Then, place some block of quartz, like this, so that's still a little bit more high than the other one. And then we do it one more time, with the quartz slabs, so that you get like a very little staircase, as you can see. It looks pretty fancy. Okay, so then the next thing we do is we get ourselves, uh, get, yeah, get ourselves some diamond blocks, place them right over here. Then we make it a 12 by, I mean, a 3 by 4 yeah, square, like that, with some redstone lamps in the middle. Then beneath these redstone lamps, of course, we want to have some torches. So yeah, place the redstone torch over there, so that you light that up, and then you're done. Now we're going to make the wall, and it's actually a very huge wall. So let's, uh, yeah, let's just do that. First of all, just um, place these three over here. Four, by the way. Then another four. Then another four, another four, and another four. So in total you have a four by four square. Then also do it on the other side. Like this. Oh, oops. Just a little bit higher than that part over there. There we go. Okay, so then the next thing we do is we go on these two blocks. We actually want to go a little bit higher, like that. And that one's even more high. This. If that's right, let me just quickly count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Yeah, okay, that's right. And then this level, we want to go all the way around until you're at that diamond thing, diamond ring. Oh, whoops. Like this. So as you can see, it's just uh, yeah, on the same layer as this diamond ring. Then you make. A, oh man, I'm messing up very hard over here. Let me just get rid of that mess. There we go. Make the corners. And then, yeah, all you need to do is just fill it up. Really easy. If this went a little bit too quick for you guys, you can just go back to where I started this thing. And then just, uh, yeah, play the video on um, yeah, half, uh, half speed like this so uh, yeah there we go that's done now we want to get some uh, pillar quartz blocks and replace them with those there we 
go. Also on the other corner. Like that. There we go. Okay, so that is done. Now what we're gonna do is get some quartz stairs. And we go to this layer with the redstone lamps. And then right over there, we wanna place some stairs, but they actually need to face that way. Like this. Also over there. And also over there. There we go. And over here, just some normal block of quartz. As well as over here, by the way. And there you go. That is done. So uh, yeah, as you can see, this looks a bit ugly. So let me just quickly replace this as well with some uh, block of quartz. And there we go. The room is almost done. All we need to do now is just fill it up a little bit with a crafting table and an ender chest. Uh, the ender chest is going to be on this side and the crafting table is going to be on that side. There we go. And by the way, you can of course also uh, yeah, place a statue over there. I mean an armor stand over here. Or two. And then make your own uh, super suit. Or you just get the mod uh, which has the super suit. I don't know which one it is by the way, but... Um, yeah, you might be able to download it or something. I don't know, actually. <laughs> but yeah, you can uh, you can make sure your own suits. Go over there. So um, yeah, that is the end of this tutorial. We've finished the roofs. I mean the rooms, as well as uh, yeah, the entry. Next episode, what we're going to do is uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you how to make your own rooms over here, and I'm just going to uh, yeah yeah make like everything which I had in the begin of the video. So let me just quickly go to my other treasure room right over here we're basically going to make all of this over here like that except for the statues that's going to be another tutorial and i'm also going to tell you exactly how to make these rooms if you want to make uh, a few more if you want to make your own treasure room a little bit longer so yeah if you did like this episode me please make sure to give a like on it and uh, to your friends to uh, tell your, yeah tell your friends about it so that they can make it as well and i'll see you guys in the next episode later